How are you doing everybody? It's Nick from Mining Office and today we're going to be looking at how to mine Ravencoin given that the halvening is going to happen really soon. So like other similar videos I've done, I'm going to show you guys how to get a wallet that allow you to store your Ravencoin, uh, the mining software to use to mine this, and how to select the pool to get up and running. Those are the three main things you need, so we'll cover that. Uh, just before that though, I got a package from Crypty.co, so we're going to go ahead, see what's in there, and unbox that quickly. If ever you guys want some hype Ravencoin gear, that's where I got this Ravencoin flag, so it's pretty sick. I'm going to be repping it in a lot of videos coming up in the month of December for Ravencoin. So I know also Caveman Mining is doing a uh, Ravencoin month in December. Check out his channel. So let's open this guy up. It should be good. I don't want to tear anything if there's uh, obviously clothing in here, so we'll just rip it. Here we go. So let me get that out of here. And check what we got in here. Oh, oh, let's save that for last. Let's save that for last. So uh, here we have a polymath hoodie. This was a special request from a girlfriend uh, because she thought the logo looked cool. That tells you just about how much my girlfriend knows about cryptocurrency. So anyway, she'll be happy she got this one. And oh, we're on to the mining office gear, guys. I had to take a second to look at this. So uh, let me get these packages open and we'll take a better look at this stuff. So it's gonna be really hard for me to show off this stuff one-handed. So I just hung it up here, but that's the mining office hoodie. There are different versions of this, but really cool to finally see it in person. I'm pretty hyped. Here we have just the, the reduced logo of the helmet, really cool. And here we have the full logo mining office shirt. So yeah, really hyped about that. Thanks to everybody at crypty.co who helped me bring these designs to you guys. If ever you're interested, that's where you can pick them up. Without any further delays, let's get into the Raven coin mining. Like always, all the links you'll need to follow along are gonna be in the description of the video. This is the Raven coin homepage, ravencoin.org, and it'll have most of the links you'll need to get up and running. If we go and visit the wallets page, because the wallet is always the first thing you're going to need for any coin, you have to be able to store what you're going to mine, you'll find a few links here. Uh, they have a link to just the Raven Core wallet, which is the basic one. You can get it here for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Another very popular one in the community is the Electrum wallet. So here you go, you have the link to their GitHub here and the downloadable binaries. Uh, this is what the Electrum, uh, it's actually a Bitcoin wallet looks like, but obviously there's support for Ravencoin. So you guys can select this one if you want. And if we keep going, they have a bunch of other options available to you. And uh, the one I'm currently using is Exodus here. So Exodus, you've probably seen, I'll link to my other video where I set it up with my Trezor One. I think it's really a great tool and a very user-friendly and easy to use wallet. So that's what I'm gonna go with today. I already have it set up. I'm not gonna go through the whole process with you because I'm pretty sure you guys know how to set up a wallet. Take your pick, get your receive address, and uh, we'll get ready to go. So just giving the example again with the Exodus wallet, if you get into Exodus and select Ravencoin uh, and you click the receive, you'll be prompted here with your Ravencoin address. Copy that, save it for later, and that's all you'll need. Once your wallet is set up, we're ready to go to the mining software and choosing a pool. When it comes to picking a pool, I always go to Mining Pool Stats. That's the number one website for me to get all my information to make my decision on what pool I want to choose. And in this case, I'm running on Flypool. Flypool is basically the equivalent of Ethermine, but for Ravencoin. So I'm running on there. You can see they have 27.2% of the current hash rate. So if you click on there uh, on their link, it'll bring you to the Bitfly website for Ravencoin here. You can see if you go over to Ethereum, it's going to be the Ethermine monitor. But here again, we want Ravencoin. So you can just click on let's start mining now and uh, very similar to any other mining pool, you'll have all the information you need. So it gives you the server, uh, the stratum port, even an alternate one. Uh, it tells you obviously the things you'll need here. So your Ravencoin address and a password. If you want to configure it here, you'll go to Windows NVIDIA, which is my scenario, right? If you're running with uh, anything else, an AMD card, you'll go here. If you're running on Linux, you choose out of these options. And in our case, look, we're going to go with T-Rex Miner. That's my personal favorite for Ethereum or Ravencoin. So we're just going to rock with that. And you even have the link for that there, guys. So look, we're almost ready to go. We're just going to keep this information handy, all right? This is all you're going to need here. And your Ravencoin address, which you noted before. Now we're on to T-Rex Miner. So we're just gonna run the latest and greatest because why not? The latest T-Rex miner is 0.24.7 and this is what we're gonna use to mine Ravencoin. I think I'm currently running 24.6 on this computer, but who really cares? There's not many big changes here for this version of T-Rex specifically, but again, we'll just use this for the example. So you're gonna grab this 24.7 WinZip 
go ahead and download that. Uh, make sure to keep it if ever your Windows tells you it's a virus or whatnot. Just make sure to keep the file and then uh, just go ahead and paste it wherever you normally keep your miners. We'll go ahead and edit the bat file. All right, so T-Rex offers example configuration bat files, so it's super easy. Scroll down here and find the ones for Raven. I'm just going to copy the two minor one and we're going to edit that. Uh, I'm just going to call it Flypool because, again, that's what we're going to be using here. And let's go ahead and edit that with Notepad++. We'll make the proper changes and we'll be up and ready to mine. Actually, one last thing before that is make sure always trex.exe. Go ahead over to Properties, Compatibility, run this program as an administrator, apply and hit OK. So now we can go ahead and edit that flypool bat file and we'll make all the necessary changes here. So right away in the batch file, you can see the algorithm we're running is Kapow. That is the algorithm for Ravencoin. So we know we're starting off correctly. Uh, based off the information we saw on Flypool, I'm just going to copy paste here, but this is what you're going to have to insert. All right, so stratum SSL, and then the uh, URL here, stratumravencoin.flypool.org, port 3443. Now, the next thing, which is obviously very important, is your wallet address and your username. So again, I'm just going to copy paste my Ravencoin address that I got from Exodus. I'm going to paste that in. And my username, I'm calling it EVGA3060 because that is the second card in this computer. I'm recording with the Zotac card. I'm going to be running the EVGA card. Again, if you have a password, this is where you're going to set it. I won't change it for now. Uh, again, you can put overclocks in here and all that stuff, but I just want to get it up and running first and show you guys it works. The one thing I will do and the one argument I will add is dash dash, oh, let me put a space there, dash dash devices. And what that'll do is allow me to select which card this will run on. I don't want it to run on the Zotac card because I'm recording on that one. So I'm going to go with devices one, which should in theory select the EVGA card. So I'm going to save that. And at this point, guys, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's run the miner and see what's up. And here we are, I just launched the bat file. Since we set the trxminer.exe as admin, we're all good to go. You can see we did properly select the EVGA card there at the top. The Zotac one is grayed out and the EVGA one is not. And we are also running the Kapow algorithm and T-Rex Miner charges a 1% dev fee for that. So strangely, it seems like the overclocks I had set previously on this guy are still, uh, are still applying. So I'm getting a really low hash rate. But anyway, we're going to change up the overclocks. I'll show you how to do that now in the batch file. So let's not even waste any time on this. So back in the batch file, again, I'm not going to spend tons of time explaining all this. I have a T-Rex tutorial. I'll link to that if you want to check it out on how to configure all these batch files. I'm just going to show you what I run on this card. I'm going to paste it in. So fans at 70%. The reason I run the fans that high is because I have two, uh, obviously two cards in this case. So I run the fans a bit higher to keep them cool. They're constantly sucking hot air in from the other card. I have the power limit set to 80% on Ravencoin, the memory clock push all the way up to 1400, and the core clock set to plus 50. So we'll just save that, and now again, we'll get back to mining. And there you go. If you follow these steps appropriately, you are now mining Ravencoin on whatever GPU you have. So in my scenario, you can see it's my EVGA RTX 3060. We get just under 24 mega hash, pulling about 135 watts. That gives us an efficiency of 176 kilohash per watt. And uh, you can see in the short amount of time, we've submitted 35 shares already. Pretty cool, guys. Again, if you want to mine Ravencoin, the halving is coming up. I would recommend you guys accumulate a little bit in case the halving has a great effect on the price. You never know. If it follows the previous trends of Bitcoin's halving, we could be in for a big pump here. Again, not financial advice. I don't want to promise anything, but I think there will be a significant price increase that's going to come in the next few months. So that's it, guys. Hopefully it helped some of you guys out there who are wondering how to mine Ravencoin. Go out there and support this GPU miner friendly network. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, miners.